Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So in this particular video, I am going to walk you through how we can create the Ubuntu Core Virtual Machine in a very few easy steps using MultiPass. So this is a new way to deploy the virtual machine for the Ubuntu Core. So in order to do this, what we need to do is we need to go to the Ubuntu Canonical website and then we can install or download the MultiPass from here. So here it gives us uh, the details how we can deploy or install it on different OS. So for the Linux uh, and Mac OS, it is very easy to get it done through the command line. For the Windows, we need to download the exe. So from the GitHub side, we can go and we can download this particular multipass uh, exe. Okay, once it get downloaded, then we need to install it. So once we click on the exe, then if it is pre-installed then yeah it will ask you to uninstall it first and then uh, install it again so as i have uh, it pre-installed so so if it is pre-installed if you want to update okay then it gives the option to not remove the cast uh, virtual machine which are there so uh, now we can install it after installing then it will give you option to hyper v and virtual box okay two options are there so for both the steps remain same but i'm not using hyper v here i'm uh, using virtualbox uh, in my system because i have virtualbox installed i have disabled the hyper v part okay so when we click on the next uh, it will ask you to add it to the path and then we have to just install it by providing the path where it has to get installed it will take uh, just a few minutes to get installed and once it is installed then that's all we are ready to create the virtual machine for the ubuntu using multipass so we can go to the command line and from the command line we just need to put some command like multipass info it will give us all the details of the virtual machine which were created which are cached okay earlier so uh, that's what we are seeing here so i had three virtual machine already created earlier to now, uh, find uh, all the different images first we need to be, be connected to the internet okay and then we can uh, provide a command called multipass uh, find okay so so when we click on when we click give the command called multipass find it will give you all the images using which we can create the virtual machine so if you see we have the core uh, images and also we have the normal uh, ubuntu desktop images okay so lts version and uh, other images are all, also there Okay, so using uh, these images, we can be able to uh, create the virtual machine. So using Multipass LS, we can list down the different uh, virtual machine which has been already there. Okay, so we need to use Multipass Launch. So Launch basically, and then we have to give the name of the image which we want to use to create uh, the virtual machine. So if you see, uh, we have the LTS, we have the core version okay so anyone uh, you can choose here so we need to give the name so i'm using core 24 the latest uh, ubuntu core version hype n and then name of the vm which you want to create so my ubuntu core 24 okay so with this command what it will do it will start creating it will uh, verify the image and then it will gives you the uh, virtual machine created so it will prepare the image from that and then it will configure so uh, it will follow its process it will take around five to seven minutes and then it will be saying the it is launched now after that once we get this launched multi my ubuntu core 24 then we will use command called multi pass shell my ubuntu core to go into the shell of this so if you see uh, it takes not uh, much time to create the virtual machine now what once the virtual machine is created okay it will get some ip no, but it we cannot access it outside so normally in ubuntu core we need to connect our uh, machine virtual machine with our ubuntu one account okay so in order to do that first we need to bring it on over the network okay so to bring over the network we can use a command called multipass networks using the networks uh, we will see which all the networks are there and the on the network which you want to breach okay we can give the command called multipass set local bridge okay bridged network and then the name of the network okay so ethernet 3 for me 
uh, where it is uh, connected with that it will uh, make it bridge with ethernet 3 and then uh, we need to basically stop uh, the virtual machine for giving another set of command okay so using multipass stop we will uh, stop this ubuntu uh, virtual machine okay and then uh, after that we need to just give one more command to map it and to enable it okay so okay it didn't stop so i will make it with force and after that we can see the multipass list so if you see uh, it is stopped okay so now uh, let me give uh, the command to make it available for the network okay so for that again we will give the command called multipass set uh, local dot the name of your virtual machine okay so this is local dot ubuntu core 24 dot bridged okay true so when we make it true then it will get mapped with the ethernet 3 and then uh, we can be able to see that a new uh, network has been created when we go into the shell so we using multipass shell ubuntu code it will it is not started so it will take time to start it again and then uh, it will we will go into the uh, shell of the ubuntu code so uh, some, uh, it takes a little time here and not much uh, and then uh, it will uh, go directly into the uh, shell command so uh, once uh, we it get started then we will uh, get into the ubuntu virtual machine and then if we type the ip address uh, we can see that a new network has been created with broadcast and multicast okay so this is connected with the physical network so using this uh, now uh, one thing which we need to do is uh, to uh, configure the console con using sudo console con we can go into the configuration mode for the ubuntu core so normally we see this screen and then uh, we can go to the network configuration okay and provide the ip okay so uh, we need to bring our uh, virtual machine to the network so then uh, using ip4 method manual we can give the subnet okay so what whatever with the subnet of your network okay and then okay so it is showing uh, it is already taken so okay no issue so sometime it happens and then we need to restart it so uh, then we can give the subnet of uh, the network and then the address for your virtual machine okay and the gateway through which it will connect then you can provide the name of the server uh, so in the name of the server i'm giving 0.0.0.0, .0 and then we can save it okay once it get applied and then we will uh, go back to done and then uh, we need to provide the ubuntu one account or uh, the email address through which it will get connected okay so once uh, we give the email address and then we click on done then uh, we are done with the configuration of the ubuntu core virtual machine to be enabled for the ssh from anywhere and then uh, when we click again the ip address you can see that that particular network has got the ip and uh, using this particular ip we can be able to access it over the network also okay so in this way uh, we can configure and create a virtual machine in very few basic steps and can access ubuntu code from anywhere thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one